If you're going to spend on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. It's got all the best in-game purchases. They fight for market share with Apple and Google. That's why they offer these discounts. Use promo code MUSH5 and information of how to download this is in the description to the video as well as in the Discord. Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushroom with Genghis. So today we're going to look at the build for the Beast Tamer or the Supreme Spirit. Most people are using Beast Master and it's basically because it's the higher money class uh, of the two and it's the more OP one, but you have to have all the items or else you might be better off using Supreme Spirit. So just take a look at them, give you a little rundown of what's going on here. And basically you can see a lot of Pell stuff, Pell damage, Pell crit and attack speed so that's what we're gonna have to look at when we're building the rest of our guy out so over here on the skills these two you're gonna need okay so this one is ancestral will and wing dreams they're the two new skills for the necromancer class and they're a must you got to use them after that uh other ones that you could look at you're gonna need to have blitz because everybody needs to have it or you lose so you need that and then the next best one is going to be Slime Bomb, the increased pal damage by 30%, and this, Smoke Bomb. Smoke Bomb has changed, but it still does decrease the damage resistance of its enemies, so that is a very good five uh, skills you can use. You can switch it up and add a Disarm or something if you want, taking out either Slime or Smoke Bomb. But the other three are going to be pretty much mainstays on anybody. Now, Pals. This is... You get, you get six. I only have five because I'm not actually as a beast tamer right now. It just hasn't worked for me, so I'm not uh, doing it. I, ha I just have too much money invested in the mage build. So what you're going to want to do here is you get six pals, and there's four that you're going to use for sure, no matter what, and then you have two options. So you're going to want the wealthy lizard for the damage. You're going to want the pirate parrot for the pal crit rate. Then you're going to want this new guy, Pal Ignore Evasion, Black Eye. So you're definitely going to want that. And then there's some options that you're going to have. You're going to want the turtle. So that's four out of six. And then after that, you can look at either the floor, the floor, floor, floral panda. You can look at the Kung Fu Master. And then you can look at, there's some other stuff in here that are very interesting for you. The enemy attack rain damage debuff. You can also look at, a lot of people are having some success using the Alpine Fox because lots of their damage is coming when there's a stun going on. But in my opinion, stun is RNG and it's luck and I don't like to build around that, but some people do. Um, after that, the other ones that you might want to look at are just going to be the ones that you use in any class that you have, but the more defensive ones. So you might want to look at increase all shield effects. You're basically just trying to stay alive as long as you can and keep, uh, and keep the attack going. Now, another one is attack speed that people are using, but basically you have those four main ones, the turtle, the lizard, the pirate parrot, and the black guy. After that, you have some options. Now let's look at the mount. And the top mount that you're gonna use if you did spend any money is going to be this guy, the Cheetah Zero. He is very OP and you can see here, just continues to increase that final pal crit as the battle goes along. Then on the wing back, you're gonna want to use this one of the newest ones here and you can see energy regen 24 and pal attack speed 24 percent so very very strong if we go into the morph here this torch is probably the eternal flame is going to be one of the strongest ones you can get it continues to increase pal crit and pal attack speed until the battle is finished now, souls there's four you want to do here and the first two are pal damage and this one is really important. Pal crit rate, pal crit damage, and crit resistance bonus. After that, you're going to want to do HP and attack, and you might do a little bit on defense. And those are your main ones for the souls. On the relics, the main thing you're going to do here is you're going to switch to pal crit rate. And after that, all of this just matches up with what you have chosen as skills. So I don't want to go over it too much. If you have blitz on, you want to use the one that helps blitz, right? Extends the duration, etc. 
avians. You want to go with this guy for pal attack speed and stacks up to five times. So this could be 25% pal attack speed. That is what you want on the talents here. So you're going to go, there's, uh, in Archer, you're going to get this to 20, okay? Every class, I believe, needs to do this now, the attack speed. But first thing you're going to focus on over here is in the Tame Beast section. And you're going to go this way first because it's very, very important for you to up the pal attack speed and the pal damage. Then the next one you're going to go to, you're going to go over here and you're going to do pal damage and pal crit rate and basically finish off of those two wings before you start doing anything else. Now, your, your gear, you're going to have to uh, get some pal stuff going on. So if we go over here, this set of mine has a lot of that stuff. So I got pal crit, skill crit, pal combo, pal crit, and it's just really hard to get everything of the same but this is going to be the one you want the most pal combo and pal crit and after that pal crit so pal crit is going to be more important than pal combo but if you don't get them you could go with regen as the third and the last thing that we need to look at is your prayer statue so you should go over here and see that see my middle three i didn't quite finish it yet but it should be all pal damage and that's going to be everything that you need to succeed as the beast tamer and let me know in the comments what you guys think of this build. Have you guys been using it? I've seen it in action in Cross Server Arena and in Parking Wars. And it is very, very tough to go against. But like anything, you need to buy some of these parts. It's not going to work if you don't have the money items. You're going to be at a disadvantage. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.